Hello everyone, thanks for joining us today. My date is 16th of May. This is Michael and I'm watching MW Newscast. I have three interesting news to share with you today. Let's start with. First news hopefully becomes true soon. You will stack giants to digit passwords. Having different email accounts, other user accounts and applications means you need different passwords to make them secure. Unless you use only one, which could compromise your data security. It is becoming unmanageable to remember many passwords. Did you know that up to 51% of passwords are reused? Passwords are the root cause of over 80% of data breaches. Can you imagine a passwordless world? Well, the US tech titans Apple, Google and Microsoft have jointly announced support for a common standard that will get rid of passwords and replace them with the more secure way to access accounts or devices. Adapting standards created by the FIDO Alliance, Fast Identity Online, and the World Wide Web Consortium will let websites and devices makers build secure passwordless options using secure keys instead of passwords. This is definitely good news and hopefully it happens soon so we can have a simplified but secure way of signing into our accounts. Next, good news for smokers wanting to quit. Brain stimulation treatments can help people quit smoking. Quitting smoking is considered to be very difficult. The nicotine in cigarettes is a powerful addictive drug that makes quitting so hard. But with the right approach and guided therapies, some people have achieved. There is one therapy option used for alcohol use and other substance-related addictive disorders, a non-invasive brain stimulation, an IBS, according to researchers for the University Hospital of Dijon in France. An IBS may improve smoking abstinence rates 3 to 6 months after quitting. They conducted a study with systematic review and meta-analysis to assess the effectiveness of an IBS for long-term smoking cessation. The study found that smokers who received an IBS had 2.39 times higher likelihood of long-term smoking abstinence. Compared to those who received sham NIBS, the researchers feel confident that NIBS is a technique of interest for short-term and sustained smoking cessation and may be recognized as a promising new option therapy for smokers. Last study for the day, ultrasound that takes a baby's first pictures may help the blind to see. Currently, there is no non-invasive therapy available for the treatment of vision loss in the retina. Ophthalmologists use electronic technology to directly stimulate retina neurons by implanting electrode devices inside the eye, a technique that requires invasive surgery and is very expensive. Well, this may change. Researchers are now exploring a solution using one of the other five human senses, a sound. A team of researchers from the University of Southern California in the US is using the same technology that takes pictures of fetus by sending and receiving sound waves through the stomach of the mother to find a solution that could restore sight. Applying pressure to the eye can activate neurons and send signals to the brain. A normal eye is activated by light, but blind eyes can be activated by mechanical pressures generated by ultrasound waves. A wearable ultrasound device like contact lens would generate the ultrasound waves to stimulate the retina. Wonderful news, we hope researchers continue to prove and confirm this technology. And this is the end of today's edition. Thanks for watching MW Newscast. If you like the news, please share with your friends and contacts. And if you've not subscribed to my channel yet, click the subscribe button. This is Maka and see you soon.